Okay, this is the notes for Section 2.5, Unions and Intersections of Figures. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you pause the video at this time and read Section 2.5 uh, before going on, uh, and then you can take a look at the rest of these notes. So, if you think about the terms points, lines, segments, and rays, those four um, figures really are the, are, are the figures that we use to make up much larger figures or mo more complex figures. Okay, you can think of them as being kind of the building blocks of geometric figures. Okay, we can combine these figures using unions and intersections to create more complex figures. Okay, so let's take a look at what we mean by the union of 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 elements or the union of sets and the intersection of sets. The union of sets, so if I look at the union of sets A and B, which is written like this, A union B, or the union of A and B, is the set of elements that are either in A, or in B, or in both A and B. You can think of the union as being a less restrictive um, idea than intersection. Okay, So the union of two sets is anything that could be in A or anything that could be in B or or, so, or or an element that could be in both A and B. So if I look at this this figure, so if I'm looking at the union of the ray SQ and the ray SR, it equals this entire angle QSR because it includes all of these elements. It includes all of these elements, and it includes the point S where those two rays intersect, that, that same endpoint that they share. Okay? The intersection of two sets, which we write like this, A intersect B, or the intersection of A and B, is the set of elements that are in both A and B. So the only elements that can be in an intersection are those elements that are in both sets. Okay, So from a Venn diagram standpoint, it's just this blue area that would be the intersection. Notice how the difference, this being small, compared to the large blue area that we have over here for union. Okay, So if I'm looking at the intersection of line M and line N here, well, they're only intersecting at one point, that point being the point P. So the intersection of those two lines is a point, point P. Okay. At this time, if you could just stop and read example one in your book, and then once you've done that, you can go ahead and, and uh, turn the video back on, and I'm going to go through this example problem here. So this example one here is very similar to the example that you uh, just read in your book. It says, given line DF with point E between D and F, what is ED, line segment ED, union with line segment EF, or the union of line segment ED and EF? Okay. Well, if I come over here and I look at those two line segments, ED is the segment from here to here. EF is the segment from here to here. Well, if I'm talking about the union of those two, I'm talking about the um, anything that's on either one of those segments or both. Well, E is on both. All of these points is on, uh, are, are on e EF. All of these are on ED. Therefore, the segment that I would get would be from F all the way over here to D. So the answer to part A for that union would be the segment FD. Okay. Now if I look at this intersection of DE and DF, here's DE and here's DF. Well, what do they have in common? They have everything from point E, including point E, all the way over to point D, including point D, because those points are in both sets. And since they're in both sets, that would represent the intersection. Therefore, the line segment DE would be the intersection of these two line segments.
Okay, next what I do like to do is, is uh, take a look at some applications of union in intersections. The first is in coordinate geometry. Uh, so when, when I'm solving a system of equations, kind of like you did in Algebra 1, what we're doing is we're finding the intersection for the solution set. So the solution to the system, y equals negative 2x minus 1 and y equals 2x minus 4, is the intersection of those two lines. So I have a graph of that here. I've got my two lines graphed. Where they intersect here at the point 0 0.75, negative 2.5, that point is the intersection of those two lines. Therefore, if I, it, when I'm writing that system like that, I'm looking for the intersection, which would be that single point, 0 0.75 and negative 2.5. <laughs>